Chaz's new ride. <laughs> you excited or what? Oh yeah, it's, Chrome came out really well. I've cleaned and detailed everything. Interior is completely stripped. Dash is out. It doesn't smell anymore. It's looking good. <coughs> it took bring... me all day to chip off the floors. Yeah, I bet. It's a sweet ride. They were really in there, but I just said I got um, fifty. Gonna... I got fifty square feet of fat mat coming. Okay. Um, are you gonna use that wiring, or are you gonna completely re <coughs> redo it? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna use the extremity wiring in the four corners. Yeah. You know what I mean. I don't see any reason why I can't use the headlights you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but under the dash, it'll probably deal. I don't know. It may be entirely new. Depends. See how horrible this is with the yellow. Yeah. I mean, he did this outside the harness. And I, I've got to try to make. He gave up on the. Uh, on the getting the tachometer to work. Oh yeah. You know, so he had taken that made that small and got that other smaller tack and, mm -hmm. and that won't work. I've got to have a matching tack, so I've got to figure out how to do how to well I just gotta test with mess around with tachometers and get that figured out. Um, I can't I can't have this <laughs> yeah. and I can't have that. Yeah. It's got to all be soldered. Yep. So, it looks like we're starting over from square one with wiring. I've got bundles of the British wiring, you know. That steering is awfully close to the frame. Isn't it though? Yeah, why? Well, so it is. It's not touching it. It's a serial uh, ground wire over there. Yeah, he he made. He's got all the ground. He was a ground paranoid. There's two or three of them I've already removed. <laughs> it's crazy. He, he didn't leave any ground for anybody else. <laughs> you know, like, Whoa. Uh, you know, there's one down the transmission. That's all you need. Yeah. <clears throat> but this is this is new. Uh, there, there's new stuff everywhere. This is all new. Yeah, so this is a 1969 MGB GT. This yeah. radiator, I think, is new. Yeah, it looks like it. This, you got from some kind of junkyard or something, it's new. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Maybe he lost... Maybe he lost the other one. Well, so looks like the interior is all trash, right? Oh, that carpet kit is supposed to deliver like Thursday or Friday. Excellent. Um, All right, well, you got a bunch of packages to open, Chaz. So okay, yeah, let's do it. Where do we start? You're gonna like some of this stuff, for sure. Um, I didn't open any of it. Well, all right, let's just start in. You need a knife. See, I think seven inches. That's Seven inches will go. Eight will not go. Mm -hmm. Seven most, is tight. Most batteries are eight inches. Are they? Yeah. I think my Sunbeam battery is eight inches. My stand group, third, 26 or whatever it is. Yeah. But look at this. Seven. seven. Less than seven. This came in that MG. Nice. And this so way, what are you going to use in that? This way we got lots. Yeah. They're all 10, almost all batteries. I believe this is 12. Yeah. Even, yeah, 12 back at the back here. So I believe we've got an MG battery. What are you going to put in that? Well, I'm going to put the same battery as my, as my Alpine has. Back in its original. That's going to require modifying. The original MG is two 6 volts oh. square things. So I got to. Fix the one so it's bigger, so I can put it down in the back where mm -hmm. it belongs. Okay. 
I'm not having the battery up high in the car. I don't care <laughs> why. I'm not going to do it if I don't have to. <laughs> well, don't. Yeah. You hope. These scissors are getting really dull. We have been abusing them. Yeah. You get too many packages. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we might have cut a few nails with those. Okay, there's that goofy yeah. heater hose thing. Mm -hmm. This is... Yeah. No. Something like Something that. Like that yeah. Looks better than the other one. Good. Oh, this... I'm glad to see both of these. Yeah. We need them, especially that one. Neck. We need that immediately. It looks like the right thing. It looks like it, finally. Yeah. Third. I think right. that's, and then this. That's for the exhaust. For the exhaust. Um, yeah, it'll go on once, but but it'll it'll go on. We'll clean it up. That rust is probably not helping. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, good. And I don't know which. Why is it different on both? So. Well, one is to conform and one is steel. Mm -hmm. I was expecting double steel. Um, with That's this... what it looked like in the picture. It was double steel. Yeah. We'll have to debate about which way it goes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next. Next. It's already open. Yeah, I think we thought it was for her, was it? You got another MGA catalog. No, mini Meaning. catalog. Yep. <laughs> We're going to have them all soon. Yeah, I think we do, just about already. Don't have a Jaguar one yet. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, these are the right thing. The one that doesn't have the holes. Mm -hmm. All these parts, by the way, came from Moss Motors. If anyone needs anything for MGs or any British car, I'm pretty sure where they're... It's the most complete catalog, that's for sure. Yeah, it's super easy and we get it in the, within a day or two. Yeah, it's so, fantastic service, like, not always the cheapest. Yeah, but when you but, need it, like the windshield for that car, it's yeah. like a day, you know? You need it, you need it. Yeah. See, that goes like that. The original ones have a cut right here so you can put it in there. Mm. So that's apparently what we do is make a cut right there. Okay. But they're right. Very nice. See, they're just barely wide enough to for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because this slot is used up for that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It doesn't seem like absolutely the greatest design, does it? No. A pair of these, we definitely need them. That, those fit this thing. These, these fit this. They wrap around that, and they look right, don't they? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm glad to have this. This is that little bypass hose, and it's super special. I could have cobbled in a piece of heater hose, but you know. That would not slide. This is way better. It, it's, it's, it's more special than it looks. See? Oh, uh, yeah. It's really special. Yep. It isn't just a piece of heater hose by any means. It's the little things. These are for the trunk lid. Mm hmm. Buffer trunk lid. I assume we need them. Because we don't have them. They go like that, I suspect. Mm -hmm. Just like that. They definitely support it. Yeah, they do the job. And then that will then preload the seal properly instead yeah. of overly. All right. Now that, yeah. that gap around the trunk is perfect. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad we got these. 
like you say, it's little things that make the job. It looks like brake bands off a bicycle. See how they see? It? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna work. We're Moss Motors' uh, number one customer right now. Daily, daily shipping parts. I am sure there's other fools. Although, <laughs> in the winter time, the world does slow down for them, I'm sure. Especially around now, probably holiday season. It's just kind of on the rear near the edges with a sharp hobby knife, peeling it away, trying, not trying to unwrap it or pull at it. Special note. That's the package we've been waiting for for like a month. Oh, this is the uh, the oil thing? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's finally here. I'm cutting the package at the rear with a sharp hobby knife. Just like it says. <laughs> So this thing got shipped uh, from United Kingdom and then delivered back to the shipper. Then they shipped it again and it finally came here. But we really wanted this. This is a conversion um, to oil filter kit. See what he means from the back now. <laughs> The uh, gasket. Oh, that's the. That must be the filter. You. Yeah. It's a Ford. GM. GM Rover filter. <laughs> Let's save that part number. Out the edge. And this is the piece of gold <laughs> that makes it work. Yes. Now, oh, there's that. Mm -hmm. All right, and it goes like this, and that goes off the same as the other one, and the filter goes right on there. Really? And we have to use one piece that we already, one of our old pieces we got to reuse. That looks good. It's one of the two. This okay, here will tell us. Yeah, that's got to be right. That looks the most right. Yeah. Any case, it's really cool stuff. This is a piece of gold here. I love it. Yes. And then... Gasket and the bolts. The bolts? Those are studs, yeah. Those are studs. Probably to go in, in here. Mm -hmm. For that thing. Yeah. And then this gasket. See, that's that's this gasket. Yep. And we should have the other gasket in the engine kit. The other, yeah, in our existing, we got yep. that already. Okay, I'm going to leave this like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're gonna like this as well. Oh, this is, I know what this is. This is gonna be great. <laughs> I might need to order another one, right? Well, I was reading about it. You know, the one wire is the big wire that goes to the battery. That's the one wire. Okay. And it supposedly works fine. My problem is, what about the ignition light? Yeah, you won't have that. Yeah. that <laughs> Do you really that need that? That only tells you if your alternator is not working, right? Well, you know, if your alternator is not working, eventually you'll find out. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you're in Blue Ridge Parkway at the very top. And it quits firing. Just roll it down the hill. Uh, yeah, look at that. That's going to be great. We've got to figure out to get this. There's probably some instructions, right? 
Maybe. I, I, I think Advance probably has them. They got pigtails for the old DuGam ones. Yeah. It's definitely not in here. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Oh, but this will be great. Look at that little thing. I like it. That'll be... That'll look just right at home. Won't it? Yeah. That'll be right there. Yeah. Would that be sweet? So much better than that huge, huge piece. So much better than the original junk and so much better than what I did over here with the Chevrolet, which is fine, but this is, this is great. Yeah. And it's like, it's affordable. It was like 90 bucks. Is that what it was, 90? Yeah. Three wire, the, the, the one wire is a little bit cheaper, like maybe eight, ten dollars less. Yeah. Like I say, I, it's going to pain me to not have an ignition light. That, that, that worries me. I wish the old man would have asked me before he ordered the alternator. <laughs> I'll, <tell you. laughs> I'll get you one. <laughs> uh. Well, this box looks a little small. It's supposedly the top. Well, I think it's probably folded up. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, I'm going to be careful not to slash this thing. There's no instructions. <laughs> it's going to be very easy. But you got to have warm weather to do it, kind of. What happens is you put the whole back on. Mm -hmm. And then you spray that real good 3M surface stuff, the glue, yeah. and wait 15 Adhesive. minutes for it to tack up good yeah. on this thing here. Mm -hmm. And then you lay it on there and let it dry, you know, pull it up yeah. halfway tight, tight enough, and, and put it on, stick it on there. Mark the center so you, you got it exactly right. And then, Stick that on there and let that dry overnight, and then you come back and raise this back and do the, the, the metal strip thing. Mm -hmm. Easy. Sounds easy. Now, but... Sounds like a good time. Well, there's... there's it's even smaller. With the <laughs> smaller by the, by the minute. Um, now, there is an issue with the snaps, yeah. but it looks like there's no bag of snaps. Just like Chaz predicted. They're installed already. One, yeah. two, three, and there's this thing. The Velcro, which we don't have the other side this, that you ordered, right? Back ordered. It's back ordered? Doesn't exist. Nice. It's not the end of the world. We're going to make our own. <laughs> Just Velcro. Yeah. Um, what I got in mind is, you know, it's a metal plate with the Velcro on. You saw it. Yeah. I'm thinking we cut the Velcro twice as wide, mm -hmm. shave off the hair on the one half, and fold that under so that it's strong enough. Right here. And it goes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If we just try to stick Velcro on a plate there, it'll tear it off. All right. So we go underneath with it and glue it and screw through it, and they'll be strong enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is great. I love it. These are in place, so we don't have to figure them out. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Sweet. The window opening, nicely detailed. It's got the, the complete rain rail thing. This is kind of hoke. I suppose that washes off, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three windows. As advertised. So you don't get claustrophobic in this little <laughs> I love it. Nice. This won't be hard at all. It'll be kind of fun, I think. I'm excited. Well, so we pretty much have everything to complete this, I think, right? <laughs> Well, yeah. never say never. <laughs> um, in fact, I hit. So. Well, let me say that like different. So we have enough parts right now to 
put the transmission to the engine, engine into the car. Yes. And get then, all the and get all the lights on. Get all this junk off the benches, and uh, get it to where we can move around here. Yeah. Um, then it'll be a lot more fun. And you're starting to hook things up. Oh, it's already fun. Um, got the glass in there, you know, the windshield. I don't think I. We don't. We didn't show any of this on video, but that was a struggle. These uh, windows, these door windows, and the panels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you show, show off how, how well this works. Check this out, folks. Flawless. It works better than it did when it was new, thanks to Chaz. Yeah, it's... What a cute little car. I love it. You know, being around you, I'm like, when I'm working on something at home, like on a Ford Focus, I'm like, you normally would be like, oh, this is trash, but now I'm like, Hold on a minute, maybe I can use that. <laughs> like, yeah. you, you've changed me. See, so you, you got these painted. I've got those, yeah, those are painted ready for you to put back. Okay. Whatever you did with the bolts. I put them back in. I just uh, threaded them back I in. I figured you had them stashed somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Won't have to look for them. Yeah. I'm going to put this in the reserve. 